kids happy sabbath welcome to our kindergarten sabbath school lesson today the title for sabbath school story is best friends and our memory verse is found in first samuel 18 verse 3 it says jonathan loved david as himself friends are you ready for a sabbath school story let's learn it together friends this is david he was ordered by king saul to move to his palace and live with him king saul had a son named jonathan jonathan and david became best friends the people of israel loved david and that made king saul jealous king saul became so angry and tried to hurt david your father is trying to hurt me. It's not true. Friends, David tried to tell Jonathan that his father really wanted to hurt him. But Jonathan did not believe it. So they had a plan. Jonathan, soon our festival will begin and your father expects me to be there. But I will go see my brothers. Two days after the festival, I will return and hide in the field. When your father sees that I am not at the festival, tell him that I go to visit my family. If he gets very upset, you will know that he is trying to hurt me. Alright, hide by the stone pile in the field. If my father is trying to hurt you, I will tell you. Here's my plan. I will shoot arrow over by the stone pile. Then I send my servant boy to get the arrow. If I shout to the boy and say, Go further, the arrow are ahead of you. Then you will know that my father really does want to hurt you. And you need to run away to be safe. Friends, when King Saul sat down for the festival dinner, he saw that David's chair was empty. The next day at dinner time, King Saul saw that David's chair was still empty. He turned to Jonathan and said, mm, Where is David? Where is David? As long as he still lives, you will never be the king. Go and get David. I want to destroy him. Friends, now Jonathan knew that his father really wanted to hurt his best friend David. So, the next morning, Jonathan went to the field. He took out an arrow and shot it near the stone pile and asked his servant to find the arrow. Run further. The arrow is ahead of you. Then, Jonathan and David met each other to say goodbye. We may not be able to see each other for a while, but we will still be friends. Yes, we will be best friends forever. Promise? Promise. Friends, the story of David and Jonathan is an example of what true friendship really is. So, let us learn to love our friends as God loves us. Amen. Okay, friends, that's all for now. See you next time. Bye.